In this video, we're going to show you the C200 product, which we have sitting right here, working with an ATEM. So let's hop over and show you this first. And let me get my computer kind of out of the way. So this is the C200. It's currently configured as an ATEM only switcher. So you'll see as I go across, you can see me changing the uh, different previews or I can cut, or if I go to another shot, I can, um, switch like that. So, I mean, all the functions you would normally have on an ATEM controller are um, right here, but it's physical. Now, the, the advantage to this, as you mentioned in other videos, first of all, it works with multiple video switchers, but these buttons are all programmable. Now, in the case of this, we're running a television studio, so these uh, seven and eight really are going to be uh, color bars, like, you, like I just uh, wiped you out there, or, um, you can basically, you can't program, you can program these not to do anything with an a television studio, but on the ATEM, uh, anything bigger than television studio, these are actually channel seven and eight. Since a t uh, television studio only has six, well, these two buttons really don't do anything. So you could disable these buttons in the configuration if you wanted to, or you could apply them to, to do something, something different. Now we have a couple of different configurations. We have this extra row at the top, which can be a bus if you want to run bus one or bus two off of this. Um, it does require the smart button option to be able to, to do that. But um, in addition to doing bus one or bus two for switching, the other thing you can do is you can program these to do anything. So we have over here, fade to black. We have uh, cut auto, DSK one, DSK two. We have the different mixes. So we have um, mix, uh, dip, and what the, what, what the other one is. So these are configured that way. And you'll notice as I change this, you see, watch this row up here. This row changes too, because these buttons are configured to do the exact same thing. So as I can, as I change one place, it's going to change the other place. So again, you can make these things do anything. I just did this as an example so you could see um, what happens whenever uh, you make the changes. Now we have a fade to black here. So we hit fade to black. And this is fade to black as well. So I can turn off fade to black right there, just like that. So these buttons are doing the exact same thing. Again, I have cut and auto configured down here, but you can put cut and auto anywhere you want to. Maybe you don't even want a cut or maybe you don't want an auto or you want cut here, auto here, it doesn't matter. These are all totally programmable as uh, to what you want to put where. So this is, let me see, do I have my uh, iPad still here? Let me see. Uh, it's not connected, let me get it back connected again. So now I'm connected and you can watch as I go across and as I'm changing the preview, you can see the, the buttons moving across just like that. There's auto. You see the thing lighting up, there's cut. So everything moves just like it would be uh, normally using the software control, hardware control, or whatever uh, control. So that is the C200 controlling strictly an ATEM. 